What's up guys, it's Tony from Lomo Paintball and today I'm back again with another good review. We've got the brand new Bunker Kings Fly 2 pack versus the HK Army Zero GX. And why? Because who's the best source for pod packs? Mark Paintball.com, of course. We're going to head on over to pbswagbag.com first, though. Use our code LWP10 at checkout to save 10% off your first monthly subscription. Pod packs, pod packs, pod packs. Let's talk about them. Uh, we're going feature for feature, pound for pound, price for price. What are we doing? Uh, let's start with price points on both. Price points, uh, you're looking at 100 bucks for the Fly 2 pack. By Bunker Kings and over here the Zero GX by HK Army, 110 bucks. So ten dollar price point difference. Hit me with it where you want to start because there's a lot of things going on here today. Uh, capacities, pod uh, capacities. Uh, capacities. I think this holds the Zero GX by HK Army. It is an 11, but if you keep this extra strap on the back, you can sneak another two. So technically 13. And over here, this one is a true 11. Um, so yeah, you've got two extra pod loops here. You've got your three and then the extra two over here. So we're talking 11 on the Fly 2 pack and 13 if you utilize the fourth uh, belt system on the Zero GX. Nice. Uh, let's want? go for... Strapless, I'm gonna hit you. Hey, they're strapless. Haha, <laughs> no surprise there. There's no, there's no straps. They're completely strapless. Check it out. You like that? All right, Mark, what were you gonna say? Um, I had to get that out of the way. Yeah, now I want you to stick a pot in each one and tell me which one seems like it holds tighter. All right, we're gonna go uh, the bigger the better with the Virtue pods, the bigger Virtue. Uh, so fly. Easy, I don't think that's going anywhere. No, pretty nice and tight. No adjustment needed, no tension control system like the uh, Zero GX has. I'm just gonna take a peek here. Mm -hmm. Still has the tension control. And we're gonna slide this one in. We're gonna see. Oh, she's, she's stiff. These are the bigger ones. Oh, This one's definitely not going anywhere. But yeah, bigger pods and uh, this one definitely will not be falling out on you. Still holds it, slides in and out pretty easy. Obviously these pod packs are brand new. Once you've put your pods in there multiple times over and over, I'm sure they'll break in a little bit, but both hold the bigger pods as well. <sighs> Let's talk about the actual strap system, huh? Okay. Yeah? Yeah, sure, let's do it. Okay, so we'll start with the Fly 2 pack. I know this one has a 300 degree uh, anti-slip on it, which I'll show you in a minute, but it has four control systems. So you've got, it's kind of just like your standard harness. It's got the initial two, and then you kind of cinch in with the last two. But this is what I was talking about with that 300 degree uh, anti-slip. So kind of like silicone tacking, because that's the first one that crosses over on your belly. And this one is gonna provide it from, you know, bouncing up and down and slipping on you. I'm just gonna leave it open because we just, there's a lot of things going on here. Yeah. Next up, Zero GX control system. Is there four, Mark? I think there's four. We'll see. One, an extra one is two. And then we've got both of these as three, and then we have four. So this one has the X-Frame technology to it, and it has four belts. Four belts. This thing is absolutely not going anywhere on you. So, wow. I mean, compared to over here, it's got, it's got it doubled up. So since we're now on the inside, I will go back to the Fly 2 pack, since we're doing the true comparison. We are talking uh, powering off. I didn't know it was on. Oh, one of them, someone didn't turn the Lux off. It's got the uh, the Royal Pillow Pad in here. So Bunker Kings did a really, really nice job with that. It's super, super comfortable when you put it on. But HK Army also stepped up their game with the Zero GX pack. And it's got three different pillows. Very, very comfortable. And these bad boys are removable. So if you guys, you're not big on that. If it's too tight on your back, you guys can simply just peel these side, you know, throw them in your gear bag if you don't want them. I literally think that all three of these will come off. Yeah, so you can take all three of them off. This way on the inside, you can access that tension control. So if you guys are using bigger pods, you kind of saw me, it was a struggle in the beginning to get this in. Even though it went in, inside here, they have that tension control system. So if you are always using the bigger pods, you guys can adjust these a little bit if you want them tighter, if you're using smaller stuff. 
but adjust them on the inside to whatever pod you guys are using. So that's a pretty nice system by HK because a lot of people, if you're a back player, probably want the bigger pods, hold more paint, you can shoot more. So, all right, let's throw these pads back on. Mark, what would you like to see next? You know, I want to know is, does either one of these have any kind of storage? What if I want to carry like my keys or oh, some money on the I know field? what you just did so I there. I got to bribe the ref. You got to bribe the ref, throw a little cash during the game. I'm not hit. Here's a five spot, 10 spot, 20 spot. The Bunker Kings, uh, the Fly 2.0 or the Fly 2 has a nice little zipper pouch here in the back that you guys can store, you know, money, keys, phone, wallet, whatever you guys want. But it has this nice little zipper pouch there that uh, holds whatever you guys need it to. All right, where's my pouch on the HK? Um, there is not one. There is not one on the HK, but it does have that removable, that uh, fourth strap I showed you. If you guys don't want to utilize this, if you guys are like, this is just way too much, you guys can simply just unvelcro it from the other strap, slide this out, and you guys don't have to use this fourth one if you guys don't want. I mean, probably for me, I'd recommend it, especially as a back player, because you can stuff those two extra two pods in the very back, real quick reload off the brake, and uh, also keeps it really, really nice and tight. But now you can kind of see the actual, what it looks like if you guys weren't using this outer fourth. I take that fourth strap off and I wear it with my day clothes, like spanks underneath my shirt. <laughs> what, are you keeping in the dad belly or what? <laughs> there you go, there you go. Um, other than, yeah, I, we went over, oh, um, I told you the, the anti-slip print on the Fly 2 there, and then uh, HK also has here on their back pillow, it's got some silicone tacking, anti-slip, and over here, obviously that first one that goes onto your belly also has the same stuff, so, Overall, they're, they're pretty similar. Obviously, these videos are for you guys out there trying to decide what pod pack you guys want, what are the big differences. I think they're both great. The HK one, in my opinion, definitely has a couple cooler features. Obviously, the removable pillows, the tension control. Um, you're like locked in. You've got four different belts you're trying to use. Three, if you take that outer one off, if you don't want to, but... The Royal Pillow though, the Royal Pillow on this is very nice too. So I don't know guys, it's up to you. Price points, only a $10 difference between the two. And you guys already know where to buy them. It's LoneWolfPaintball.com. And buy them, you should. Buy them both. That way you can have them both. Pew, pew.